Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking into how we can have a matter enabled device like this. So this is a smart plug which has matter enabled on it and connected to home assistant. Now what is matter? So matter is this open connectivity standard for smart homes and IoT devices. So using this particular standard you can connect to any of your Google Home, HomePod or Alexa also without any kind of issues. So this is an upcoming standard and this is something new and I wanted to make a video on how you can actually connect such matter enabled devices to home assistant. So with this let's get started. First thing let's do is let's actually install a matter server on the home assistant OS and then I will show you how you can do this on the docker container also. So now this is the home assistant OS that I'm running on this particular IP address and I'll now go to settings go to add-ons and in this add-on section I'm going to click on this add-on store here and I'm going to search for matter so when I search for this matter server I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say install now this is actually now going to install a matter server through which it will start detecting matter devices and then we will connect it to our home assistant so let this install so this will take a little bit of time to actually install so give it some time and then after this uh, click on the start so now this will actually start the matter server for you now with this thing done what we'll have to do is you'll have to go to settings go to devices and services and then we are going to click on this add integrations now here what i'm going to specify is i'm going to specify matter here and i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to say add matter so now this will set up the integration of that matter server into home assistant so i'm going to click on this and the matter server is now configured on your home assistant so if you scroll down here you will see this particular entry for matter so now let's look at how we can do this into the docker container part now if you are not interested into a docker container part you can skip to the next section in case of the docker container we have this docker compose file in which you will specify this image URL. So this is the stable image of the matter server and you will have to run this particular Docker Compose file. Now I'll provide this configuration in my article which I'll link into the description below so that you don't have to copy this from the screen. Okay, so now what you'll have to do is write this particular Docker Compose file and I'm going to say Docker Compose up you can specify docker compose up minus d so that this particular docker compose service will actually run in the background for you so now this matter server is now running on your system now how do you actually configure this particular matter server onto your home assistant container so for this i have this another instance wherein i'm running home assistant as a docker container and i go to the settings section here i will go to devices and services and click on integrations now here i'm going to say add a matter device now this will actually say it's matter is not set up so we are going to set up this now click on proceed and now here it's going to ask you for the url so remember this is the url for the matter server now i'm running this matter server on this separate machine here which is not the same as where this docker container is running so this docker container is actually running on my raspberry pi right now so this is a different IP address. I will specify the IP address of my current machine. Now this is the IP address of this machine. Now if you are running the matter server on the Raspberry Pi on which itself you are also running your home assistant container, you can just specify localhost. But in this case, I'm specifying the IP address because I'm running this on a different server right now. So I'm specifying the IP address where actually my matter server is running and I'm going to click on submit. Now this has configured the uh, matter server in our home assistant here. So, so if you see here, you will find this matter integration here. Now with the matter server actually configured, let's actually do the most interesting part that is adding the matter device. So for this, we will have to use the home assistant app, whether it's on your iOS or an Android. Now I'm using this on my Android phone right now. So let's actually see how we can do this. Now this is a matter socket that I have. I bought this from AliExpress. I have added links to this particular socket into the description below so that you can buy this particular socket. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually connect this to a socket. So I have this socket here and I'm going to connect it. 
now if you see here i have to put it into the pairing mode so you need to press and hold this and then once it starts going into the pairing mode that it will start blinking into the fast blinking mode that means it has gone into the pairing mode so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my home assistant app and in my home assistant app i'm going to go first to settings in settings i'm going to go to devices and services and then i'm going to click on integration and then here i'm going to add a matter device now this will search for a matter device in my network and then after this you will get this particular option to scan the qr code so i'm going to open my camera with this and I'm going to go to my device and scan this particular QR code. So now this will actually ask me to enable location services. So I'm going to press continue, say OK, and then connect it to my Wi-Fi and then turn on the Bluetooth also. So this needs both location as well as your Bluetooth connection to detect the matter device. And now the main thing that you have to do is be a little bit patient. So this setup takes a little bit of time. So it can vary from a few minutes to 10 to 15 minutes. So now it has gone into the phase wherein it is generating the matter credentials. And now it has also set up the device. So if you see here, this has already been not in the non-flashing state that means this has connected to our network right now that is my wi-fi network and now this is actually checking if the device is connected or not so now this will take a little bit of time so be a bit patient and let's see how it goes so now it has moved to actually connecting the device to our home assistant now this literally took around three or four minutes for it to detect it on the network and now it has gone to connecting to the home assistant so now be really patient for this thing to complete yes so finally this has actually connected to our home assistant i'm going to click on done and there we have it we have the matter device connected to our home assistant now let me look at this in the ui here you can see this particular device here and I'm going to click on this and let's actually turn off this particular matter plug. So now if you see here, it is off and I turned it and it is on here. So you can see this particular red light, it's off and it is on. Now, if you're facing problems while adding this device to Home Assistant, so what you'll have to make sure is this particular setting. So go to settings, go to systems, and then after that, check in your network. In your network, you have to set IPv6 to automatic. If you have not set this thing up, the matter device will not connect to your home assistant instant. It needs this IPv6 to be set to automatic and then only the matter device will be added to your home assistant. Also make sure your IPv4 is also set to automatic and this will make sure your matter device actually connects to home assistant. Now with this, we were able to do the matter device connection to home assistant so enjoy this particular setup so i hope you like this particular video we saw how we can actually have matter enabled devices connected to home assistant and then we can control it using home assistant now if you want to buy this particular smart plug the links are there in the description below and if you like this particular video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this particular channel for more such videos to come till then take care and see you in my next one